Hi again, dear traders. Today is May 5th, Thursday. I'm online with a fresh market review prepared for InstaForex. I find out an interesting festival day on this date. Day of fizzy drinks in the US. I guess you know what fizzy drinks are nice additives to strong drinks. Well, guys, I'd like to tell you that Copa has been soaring. The chart of this jaw dropping rally amazes with its dynamic. Let me show you. Western analysts say that such elevated levels are not the ceiling yet because a Copa deficit will double next year. Here is my tip for those who are interested in buying COPA. Why not consider buying the middle downward retracement? You can buy at some price dips which happen now and then for different reasons. It's a good investment idea to amass long positions on COPA. Now let's follow our routine and discuss the most popular trading instruments. Gold comes first. Yesterday, I advised trading gold downwards and we could have worked out the first target. Here is a large ABC structure on the chart. A breakout of this pattern happened during the release of ADP report. Besides, Jen Yellen pushed gold upwards. Yesterday, the price formed an ABC pattern. 61% FIBO was tested and 100% FIBO was broken. That's what happened yesterday. Here is the point in the chart where gold rebounded during the ADP data. The actual data was bearish for the US dollar. In response, gold immediately rebounded and closed yesterday with gains. Here in the chart, there is one bearish bar squeezed between two bullish bars. The swing low was broken, that's not good for short positions. I myself got rid of some of my positions. When I saw the bounce during the news release, I removed the rest of my positions. Why? Because the market didn't stabilize above the breakout level of the downward impulse. Currently, I have no new ideas for gold. Yesterday, American traders were buying gold during ADP report, which is viewed as preliminary non-farm payrolls. Interestingly, this report outweighed Yellen's comments when she said that interest in rates could be lifted. Now we see almost full engulfing of selling sentiment. Gold is on the track to hit the level of $1,800 per troy once. I expect at least a fake breakout. The middle is going to open the American session at near this level. I guess stop losses will be triggered. Like gold, the euro hit the correctional lows of April. I reckon that most traders rely on technical analysis where I bought the euro dollar pair yesterday. Today they are celebrating profits. Well done. Meanwhile, I don't have any trading ideas for this instrument. A three-way structure of the bearish engulfing has been over. One more thing. I think this mirror level will be ruined eventually. I see a lot of stop orders at around this level. I foresee a downward breakout sooner or later. It's too early to discuss it. Personally, I'm not trading this pair for a while as I don't see any opportunities according to my method hunting for stop orders. The pound sterling is the hero of the day. I believe in its growth to 1.4 against the dollar. Now the pound dollar pair is inside the triangle pattern in the one hour chart. If a good impulse emerges, we could catch the three wave from a pullback. As for a larger time frame, I focus on 1.4 and its breakout within the bullish trend. Now the market is trading at highs. I think the sterling is likely to shoot upwards. Let me warn you that any forecast could go wrong. We will see how the pound will actually trade after the Bank of England's policy announcements. The dollar yen pair is now at a correction stage. Let me remind you that the median term outlook is still the uptrend. I pointed the blue zone in the chart. I expect the price to consolidate there and exit the declining channel upwards. I get that buying from 161% FIBO should bring profits. That's all I wanted to tell you today. Manage your risk and take care. Tomorrow is a crucial day. The US non farm payrolls will send the market on a roller coaster tomorrow evening. Good luck!